part in our life to maintain. As we are commemorating the days of the martyrdom of Hazrat Fatih Zahra Salam Alayha, we will all give our condolences to our first Imam of our time. Indeed, these nights are the nights of sorrow. These nights are the nights of sadness and hosen. We should make sure that we do tawajju and tabasul to the Ramazan in these nights. Pay a bit of attention to her life and as she is a role model not only for women but also for men, learn from her life and bring that into our life, into our day-to-day -day activity and implement that in our life. It's indeed a very sad and very sorrow occasion where when we look at personalities such as our Prophet who still up until now regard as the most famous, you know, regardless of the person being Muslim or not Muslim. Well respected in different society, in different walks of life. But when it comes to the reality of the pain and the suffering, he himself suffered. And other than that is the only daughter of the Prophet. It's a shock. It's quite surprising that how can this happen? I mean, in relation to the martyrdom itself, there are six authentic Sunni traditions which I could provide the reference of these Sunni traditions, which clearly points out to the very Shahada of Hazrat Fatima is because of the beating of her by the scabbard or the, by the cupboard, by the scabbard, which is they put the sword in, the cover, uh, on, on her, on the command of the second. Even the Sunni divine, we have authentic, authentic traditions that support this. It's very sad to see that the whole martyrdom of her and how it took place and, 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 and how she was secluded. Inshallah, which I will try to point out in the issue of Masai. As, as she is considered to be part of her soul, as we mentioned, you know, Fatima Gala to Mindi, Fakhat Azani, Fakhat Aza, Fatima Azani. Fatima is considered to be part of me. Whosoever gives her pain, it is as if he has given me pain. This is also a very, you know, unanimous tradition, well accepted by Ali Hassan and by Ali Tashi. But what I want to look at tonight is the aspect of Jalal which is the Rahmaniyat. She is the symbol or she is the focus or the pivotal point for the Rahmaniyat of humanity. There are a number of arguments which will support this understanding that she is the Malkas or she is the pivotal point for the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for humanity. The very hadith where prop of the very verse where <coughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks people that do not call the Prophet by his name. You know, you address him as Rasulullah. Don't call him. And we have done Surah Gujarat or Tafsir of that. That never people used to call the Prophet by name. Even in a very disrespectful fashion. They will come outside the room and they will say, oh, you know, come out. That's how they were. The Prophet, who have taken pains, who have brought the Quran. And I mean, when we look at this, you know, 
in tafsir and history as it has recorded, we could understand that the zulm that Fatima have gone through is possible. It's not that impossible. You know, you know, people who are unaware of Islam, they would say, how can that be possible? You know, this, this evening I was discussing with one of the sisters who wants to convert to Islam, inshallah, she will. You know, she was saying, how can that be possible that the only daughter of the Prophet, within 70 days, they came to the house, they burnt the door and they knocked the door on her. The Prophet of Islam, and this is what happened. How can that be possible? But when we look at during the lifetime of the Prophet, how they treated the Prophet, we could say, that, yes, it is possible. Historically, it's possible. You know, when they are coming outside the door of the Prophet and calling, Muhammad, come out. Is this how you treat the Prophet? The man who has taken so much pain, the man who has brought Quran, you have seen the miracles and the mujizat through him. I mean, we will not treat, you know, an elderly man, regardless he hasn't given us anything, but we'll treat him with respect. But you are treating the Prophet like that, that's how you behave. Till to the extent you know, different verses trying to point out to enter the house through the door, do not look, peek into the house, and so on and so forth. To the extent that do not call him by name, address him as Rasulullah. So when this verse came, Hazrat, you know, Hazrat Zara Sallallahu mentioned that, you know, she was uh, carried away and she. <coughs> She felt very um, uh, intimidated, so to speak, worried and scared that, okay, I address my, you know, my dad, my father as father, you know, and now the words have come to not address him, you know, address him as Rasulullah. So, you know, I have a priority doing that rather than people outside because I'm at home all the time and probably I call him the most, so I should address him as Rasulullah. So she was, she was shaken, you know, like for example, you know, all of a sudden there's, a, there's an announcement, you know, people sitting in the hall, please don't make any noise, you know, people who are talking, they will be always, you know, they will say, oh, they will, they will get scared, they will get kind of, you know, whoever is making noise, you know, they are really disturbing the majlis, whoever is speaking and not paying attention to the zikr of Hazrat Zahra, it is as if they are committing a sin. And it's a Thursday night, Amal are written, it is a night of Zahra. So if these things are mentioned, then they, those people who are speaking, they will be all of a sudden, they will control themselves. Oh, maybe we should not. So in that same manner, when this verse came, then Zahra shook. And then she said, no, I will call Rasulullah. But when she addressed the Prophet Rasulullah, and Prophet said, Oh Zahra, you are from me, and I am from you. And it is Husayn Minni wa Namin Husayn wa Ali Minni wa Namin Husayn. Not only that, even for Fatima we have this hadith, where the Prophet says, that oh, Fatima, you are from me, and I am from you. You know, and Allah is pleased that you call me Father, and I am pleased that you call me Father. <coughs> I mean, yeah, the, the amount of love that Prophet had, where she addresses, where, she, where he gives the title, where he addresses her as Umm Abiha, you know, mother. This itself is an indication. And within that 70 days, what happened? All of these titles, Muhaddita, and, and Marazia, and Razia, and where it was known among the people. But within the 70 days, what happened? 70 odd days. So, so now when Allah says that Prophet is considered as a mercy to mankind, so now when Prophet is saying that, Oh Fatima, you are from me and I am from you, so that means Fatima is also mercy to mankind. Number two, and we'll look at the aspect of mercy a bit more detail. Number two, 
we know that what you know we know that there are 14 masumi and one of them is Janab Zara Salaam amongst them, right? Who is a masum? What is a masum? What is the position and the rank of a masum? On what level a masum is? While knowing that she is one of them as well. You know, masum is considered to be the 14, all 14 of them considered to be hujjah for mankind. The baka of Creation is through them and because of them. And she is part of that as well. And number two, you know, her being Hujjat and her being Masoom dictates that her fail, her fall, her amal will be Hujjat. If she says something, it is exactly the same as what the Prophet has said. It becomes hujjah. It becomes wajib. If she makes something wajib, it becomes wajib. There's no doubt about it. It's a masum. Bawle masum, taqbire masum, amale masum. Right? That's what, you know, we are taught in fiqh. That's what we, you know, we, we are, we've been taught, right? That if an you know, imam he keeps quiet, in front of an action that is taking place, that means that act is okay. If Imam stops, you know, makes it, you know, you don't do that, it becomes haram. <coughs> right? Why? Because Imam is considered to be masoom. Imam is considered to be hujjat. And now, Janam Zara Salaam is the same. So her fatwa or her saying, her action and her amal is nothing but dictates that her is wajib. <coughs> It is on that level. It is on the level where it understands the pleasure of God. It's on the level where it understands the will of God. It's on the level, it's on the level that it, under, it becomes the medium and the source of dictation from God to mankind. And while understanding this, the most famous hadith, we place that next to this argument where the Imam said that we are hujjat to mankind and Fatima is hujjat to us. Yeah. Imams are the hujjat to mankind. So when the hujjah becomes the hujjah, you know, when the hujjah really requires hujjah, so because why does creation, creation requires a hujjah, creation needs a hujjah in order for its baqa in order for its persistence, in order for its continuity. So now when the hujjat is saying, she is hujjat for us, that's the maqam. Now let's investigate a bit more in relation to rahmah, in relation to mercy, which is one of the most predominant sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the most used name of Allah in the Quran is Rahman, compared to all of the other names. You know, before every surah, before every chapter, it begins, it begins with Bismillah Rahman. So here the Rahman and the Rahmaniya, what is the uh, you know complexity or the unique aspect of the mercy that, that is within Islam? And this mercy is channeled really through Sindhi Qayyabhubra. Because the Prophet is Rahmatullah and the Prophet has said that she is from me and I am from her. And also, and as we had mentioned this earlier, that Prophet when he calls mother, mother is considered to be the sifat of Rahman. Mother is considered to be where lies at the feet of her Jannat, Behisht, Paradise. So that's mother. When Prophet is calling Fatima mother, when Prophet is saying that we wouldn't have created if it was a Laula Fatima. Right? So it's it's so let's look at this, this quality of mercy. If you look at mercy, you know, um, you know it's it's as we were discussing the uh, the Ziyad al where the Masumina are addressed. 
that Omar al-Rahman, the treasure of 